Hi guys, it's Mary McIntyre. This video is very different from anything else on my channel, but it's something I've been wanting to film for quite a while. I really love pod coffee, but I'm not comfortable with the amount of waste. So as soon as I found out that you can get refillable pods, I was like, right, I'm in. <laughs> um, when I first got this pod, there was almost nothing of use online showing me the best way to use it. I've now been using the same pod for nine months. You can buy them for about £20, which is a lot of money, but when you think you can just reuse this, I reckon I can get upwards of a year out of this if you handle it carefully. So I just want to share a couple of tips and tricks of things that I've figured out along the way. First of all, you can buy this with um, just a little kind of dusting brush and the white coffee scoop like this. It also came with a really ornate spoon. So this spoon, while it's very ornate, very pretty, serves absolutely no useful purpose with this system at all. So don't need that. Chuck that away. <laughs> So you can buy these with or without the tamper and at first I was being a bit of a cheapskate and I got the one without this metal tamper. My number one recommendation is buy the tamper because if you don't squish the coffee down in the pod tightly enough, the water will just kind of disturb the coffee and flow through without actually percolating through the coffee grinds. So it's super important that you get an even squish when you push the coffee down. So I had to then buy this. It cost me £15 for this where I could have got it for a fiver if I just bought the package in the first place. The thing is washable and this filter comes out. Now one thing I've noticed is that this filter, although it's metal, it does get clogged. So sometimes the coffee starts to look a little bit foamy when that happens. You can never ever get all of the fine coffee grinds out of this, especially if you're using coffee that's been ground up too finely. So I would go with a cafetier mix because I'm sure you can buy replaceable ones of this, but I use an electric toothbrush, just let it gently vibrate over it and it pulls enough out that it gets it back to being usable. Oh look, we have a cat. Um, so yeah, you just wash everything out and put that silicone lid on. And there is a filter in here as well, which is really hard to get to. It's got like a double um, chamber in it. So <laughs> Coco wants in on the coffee. Um, so yeah, it does have a filter down there. So I just gently wash this stuff because I don't want to punch a hole in it. But say I've been using this now for nine months. I've had to get the toothbrush on this three times in that space. So how to use it? You've got your pod here. You can use any coffee that you want. My favourite is Taylor's of Harrogate, rich Italian coffee. When I first got this pod, I found everything tasted super weak and that is because I wasn't tamping it down properly. And it's so, so important that you do get the tamper. So I put it in, tap it down. And you basically, when you've squished it down, you need it to not exceed this lip here because that's where the lid seals. If you overfill it, that seal will not seal properly and the water just pours out around the outside of the pod. So I'm just gonna tap that down a little bit and then get the tamper in there. So the tamper's got a cutaway. So you basically just go in and push down and I can already feel that there's loads more room around the edge here. I've got the large pod. You can use smaller ones. I like my coffee, so I need a, a bigger coffee. Um, so yeah, small ones, not enough caffeine for this lady. So a little bit more around the edge. Just gently tap that to just push it to the edge without overflowing and go in and just again put a decent amount of pressure I find that pushing it down harder gives me a better result. So you can see the coffee's in there, it's tamped down and it's not coming up over that lip. So lid on. I have a Tassimo machine that has the smart brew technology so it reads these barcodes and this is where you sometimes run into another problem. If you wash this, if there is any water on here, the barcode reader can't read the barcode properly. So what I started doing is rubbing it dry quite vigorously, but you can see I'm starting to wear that barcode away. 
that's my bad. Just pat it dry gently. At the moment, it's still working, but I'm going to come to a point where that lid is going to end up needing to be replaced purely because I've been too heavy handed with my drying. The barcode reader itself is here. So if um, you are making a cup of coffee quite soon <laughs> after your last cup of coffee, if there's any moisture in here, again, it can stop that barcode from reading. So when it's cool, I always give that a bit of a wipe with my finger, make sure this is fully dry and then we can pop that in. You can tell I don't do lifestyle and home videos very often. That was out of shot. So if you lift this up, there's a little strip in here is where the barcode is red. That is where you need to make sure it's totally dry when you make the coffee. Put it on the machine. I've already filled the machine up. So I've got the yellow light straight away. So often if that light goes red, it is because there's moisture on the barcode. That's always what solves it for me. Um, so just make sure the barcode is dry without scrubbing it and make sure that the reading um, strip is also dry. And this is the larger pod. So because it's got smart brew, it knows that it's gonna run through the right amount of water for that size of pod. Now, if you do it this way with it tamped down, you get the nice crema on top. If you do it and it's not been squished down enough, all the coffee, as I said, will dislodge, the water runs through and you end up with a really weak coffee with no foam whatsoever. Okay, so I'm gonna top that up because I like an Americano. If you're making a second cup of coffee, just be super, super careful because that's really hot when you open it to take the pod out, as you will already know if you're using a pod machine. So let it cool down and then you just basically open it and tap the coffee out. Don't use anything sharp in there to kind of scrape it out because you may damage the filter at the very bottom. So this set is now on Black Friday deals on Amazon. Um, so I'll, I'll link what I'm using in the description box below, not affiliated in any way whatsoever. This is just purely to help you get the best out of your reusable pod if you're just starting off on that journey. So it's about 20 pounds, but if you consider the cost of pod coffee, even on a good deal, each cup is around about 30p something like that which is still cheaper than going to Costa or wherever but you can put any coffee you want in that pod you can go and buy your Taylors of Harrogate you can just use any brand that you like and just switch it up for each coffee and you can put anything in there it's just ground coffee so it works out if you're using like a bag of coffee for about four pounds think of how many cups you're going to get out of that it is significantly cheaper than buying ready-made pods now obviously i don't have pods with milk to heat up or anything like that but i have my coffee black anyway so i don't actually need that but if you like black coffee then this pod i would definitely recommend and if you just put normal milk in your coffee then also fine so i hope you found that useful um i haven't looked on the internet recently because i've figured this out for myself but i've been meaning to make this video for ages just to help you if you are just starting off with your reusable pod so i hope you found it helpful and take care i'll see you in the next video bye for now you can tell I don't do lifestyle and home videos very often. That was out of shot. So if you lift this up, there's a little strip in here is where the barcode is red. That is where you need to make sure it's totally dry when you make the coffee.